So I'm here in this tunnel, not sure what to call it. Down that way is Davenport Beach, beach in Davenport. And this tunnel goes all the way up at a sharp, like probably a 30, 30 degree angle, all the way up, pretty sure it goes under Highway 1 and into the Cemex cement plant, which is uh, on the other side of Highway 1 from Davenport Beach. So it's pretty cool. This is one of the few tunnels I've been in that's man-made. You can see there's dug, well, all the tunnels I've been in are man-made for the most part, but it's uh, just dug straight into the rock. You can see this looks like some kind of pipe sticking out here. You can see this is just dug straight into the rock with a concrete floor of some sort. And uh, certain sections along the cave, there's concrete reinforced walls like right here. All right, so this, let me see if I can get it on camera. So the main tunnel's just dug out of rock, but they did shore it up with what looks like just some concrete construction in kind of a arch shape. Hard to get on camera, but nonetheless, plenty of cool, it must be kind of, oh wow, look at that. Plenty of cool pieces in here. Let's see, Alra, Alrad, nice. So, probably harder to tag on the stone, but once you get into the concrete, there's a lot of really high quality graffiti in here. It's beautiful. I love graffiti. Some amazing pieces in here. And to imagine people are down here in the dingy, you know, the wet tunnel with water flowing by their feet. Just making amazing art that really only a few people are gonna see. Only those willing to look. Let's see if we can look up there. It's an interesting tunnel. Like I said, I came here once with my girlfriend. Crazy chick that she is. I actually convinced her to come in there with me. Fuck Princess Diana. Wow. Brutal. This is where the water's going to go. It's flowing right through. I'm guessing this is under the cement plant, because as you can see, it's clearly inside a factory. So, not too sure. I'd say if I had to guess, it's two, three hundred feet down to the beach, or about a hundred meters, something like that. And it's pretty short. I'm having a duck right here. I don't know if you can see that. My ear is probably only five feet. Once you get down these little sumps, you can, like right here, I can stand up straight. Right. Anywhere else, that's like five feet as you get closer to the back. So, I don't know, it's interesting to theorize the purpose of this tunnel. I'm guessing if the pier was still there, it was probably used for unloading and carting supplies up into the concrete plant whatever they may be, maybe slate or something. But I don't, my understanding of that pier was that it was quite old, um, originally built for whaling, or at least this beach was used for whaling back in like the 18th and 19th century. So an interesting tunnel nonetheless, I have to be very careful here because it's slippery. And sadly, you know, as a matter of fact, I think I got a trash bag on me. Well, never mind. It's just sad there's a lot of trash in here, but maybe if I can come back with a pogey stick, I'll try to pogey this tunnel a bit because it's, it's really sad when people leave. You know, I love this graffiti, but at least try to pack your cans out. That's all I can say. Because this just ends up in the ocean eventually. It's just not good. And then especially when you see like beer cans, it's like, come on, man. You probably shouldn't be getting drunk in here anyway. Fucking idiots. Candy. Do you really have to, was, was fucking, <laughs> were Airheads extreme sourfuls that important that you had to bring them into a tunnel and leave the packaging? Anyway, here's another little stretch of a shored up concrete tunnel. So interesting construction, you can see this almost, yeah, oh wow. Look at that, I'm just saying that was a little 
drainage area or something like that. It's got like two by fours over a little, little drain. And then I don't even know what these concrete stumps were for. It's like a concrete floor and then every I don't know, 20 feet or so, we've got a little lock. I'm guessing there was some kind of rail mounted on the top to take carts of supplies up into the factory. This one, I forget what this one's called. I see this piece all over. It's really well done. It looks like it was done last year. I am filming, oh, and an MF Doom piece, wow. Jerick, or Jerick, Lord Mess. That's a cool piece. Beautiful. I don't see a date on this one. I'm guessing it was 21 too. I'm filming this, by the way, uh, January 3rd, 2022. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's see if I can catch me walking out onto the beach. Pretty cool. More Pacifico bottles. It's quite wet in here. I often say no drains when it rains. I think this drain's always kind of just like this. There's a natural little creek that runs through it. Um, because it's not raining right now. So anyway, then you get to the end and it opens up right onto the beach. Like I said, there's the old pier. So, you know, it lines up almost perfectly with this tunnel. I can only assume that uh, supplies would be offloaded onto the pier and carted up through the tunnel. Oh, look, Let's see if I can, 1934. So maybe I could, if I'm not lazy, <laughs> I'll try to look up some history. If I see anything interesting, I'll put it in the description of this video. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching this little tunnel crawl through. That was Davenport tunnel walkthrough. I don't even know what to call it. Anyway, if you liked that video, please leave a like. If you really like me, please subscribe. And uh, hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.